Beard. No, I don't have beard. This looks like me, right? Uh, shouldn't I be given the orders now? Of course, your majesty. But should delay any longer would make the nobles restless. When the nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Right behind you. Yeah, guys, I think you fit well as the nobles. I think this does this, this seem like chess. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. What? It's, but it's my coronation. I am the Senate. This isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote. Even this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Democracy basically means government by the people, of the people, for the people. But the people are retarded. Ah, uh, so what kind of coronation should be held for the new queen? Hosts a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine? Ooh, but that costs a lot of money. Proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god? Throw the river, throw the queen into the river. Guys, the vote is not on. Wait, wait. <laughs> so now you guys can vote. I wonder what's gonna win. I love democracy. <laughs> Milk and swim. Yeah, this is not. This is not gonna kill me from what it seems. <laughs> this is not kill the queen by throwing her into a murderous river. Oh, poor Super. Super just wants some wine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Super just standing in the corner like the guys, but I want I want some wine. <laughs> State funded wine sounds nice. Yeah, these nobles so dumb. Do we want free wine? Or do we want to throw the queen to the river? Throw the queen to the river! <laughs> Okay, that was my coronation on the path to victory. Here and ambition. I we have to breed. Guys, I don't know how I'm feeling about this game. I don't wanna breed. Are you sure about that? The monarch must adopt. Oh we can adopt! Oh that's good. Yes, I don't wanna breed. My question is this when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Oh. Oh. Oh, we can set the goal! I kind of want to go for the saint as a saint. <laughs> saint Milky, bless. Oh, we're going for that one. We're going for that one. Saint Milky, I want to be known as a saint. <laughs> <clears throat> Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne. Not this imposter Queen Milky. <gasps> She's calling Sus. A dangerous cult. The priests bring ever more concerning reports of a wild cult at large in the east. These fanatics call themselves the eighth chapter and they claim to have found the arm of a dead god. Eh? The arm of a dead god? The arm of god, a colossal limb that moves under its own power. Tall as five men, long as ten horses, clad in shining steel. I dread to think what such a thing might be capable of. This heresy cannot stand. The council must do something to stop it. Ah, uh, so this... I think everyone will take vote on this. So what can be done to tackle the growing cult in the east? Summon the High Inquisitor to break this cult. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! To discreetly dispatch a spy to find out more. Wait and see, these things usually die by themselves. Um, I'm gonna vettle. Can I? I'm gonna vettle the, this one. So you guys can vote A or B. You are not gonna make my fate go down. Not our 
problem? Fuck you, Milky. No, no, it is your problem. You need to do something about it. <laughs> you can't just let it die by itself. Oh, oh, are we gonna summon the... This was, this was pretty tied. Summon the High Inquisitor to break this code? Oh, it's because you guys wanna make my stability go down, you little fucks. Vody has closed. Seven nobles voted for summon the High Inquisitor to break this code. I will make them see the true light of the knife, esteemed members of the council. Over the weeks, word reaches the council that the High Inquisitor is altogether too enthusiastic. She escalates panic <laughs> by hanging anyone who dares mention the cult's existence. There's no cult here, guys. You better, you better don't say anything about a cult. Stability is now stable. That's fine. <laughs> In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid. Your Harry mother. Potter! <laughs> Mom! Mom, no, Mom! Why haven't you found us pause yet? It's been almost a year. No, this is too real. Mom, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to give you a hair, Mom. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I've been busy. Mom, I have work to do. Can't you see I'm a queen? There's no time for sentiment. You just need a match that befits your station and suits your political needs. Ah, <sighs> fine, fine. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. <clears throat> oh, it's not Chet. Wait, it is. This is <laughs> this is Helga, firstborn heir of the Northern Plastic SR Clan. Yo, Plastic. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna bang your children, huh? FBI, open up! <laughs> this sound, this sounded wrong. They are adults. This is Vladim, the eldest son of the Eastern Invert Mousy! Mousy son! I'm not sure why the artists make him look so severe. Just a trick of the light, perhaps. Spends most of his time with a fencing master, mastering the blade. I've heard rumors that he's training himself for some epic confront confrontation with an old rival. <clears throat> Um, this is interesting. This is interesting. He's an intriguing candidate. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. Um, Vladim, Vladim, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. I like this one. I have made my decision. <clears throat> I won't vled them. Vled them. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Thank you. Thank you. Far in the east, Count Avi is hosting a dinner party in his castle with a few distinguished guests. Oh, guys, guys, be aware of a Avi's hosting a dinner party. We're gonna have some nice grilled spiders there. That's be aware. Be careful. Be careful of that. <laughs> Ooh, that's Avi. Grave news. The spy master is still watching us like a fox stalking a hen. Avi, the rich artist, right? Oh, and shrub. A good thing we are not hens then. Hmm. We are crow, crows and far cleverer than the fox could ever imagine. Oh, they're plotting something. You two are sus.
Agreed, but since we're, cr we're clever little crows, let's continue to look like harmless hens for as long as we can. Your, we your wedding to Vladem is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. Let's go! Everyone's invited, guys. You're all invited to my wedding party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Vladem at your side. Do you take this man as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then I pronounce you queen and husband. Whoa! Marriage! Let's go! <laughs> Why are we assassinating this Vladim nerd? I just got married! I just got married and you guys already want to kill my husband! After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new husband, Vladim, only dances with obvious reluctance. Yo! Stability went up, authority went up, and defiance went down everywhere. Nice, nice. See, guys, a wedding. A wedding solves all the problems. Is your kingdom having a crisis or something? Just have a wedding. Everyone's gonna like it. <laughs> the fires went down because my party's amazing. You're like, why am I one to rebel against this queen who throws such an amazing wedding party? <laughs> Just marry every year. Problem solved. Yeah, exactly. Who wants to kill my husband so I can marry another one? <laughs> it's like milky. Nobody can resist free food. Exactly. Exactly. The war with the 8th chapter drags on, your majesty. We must do something to break their defenses. Uh, withdraw all troops to stop the bloodshed. Send even more troops. The queen accompanying them this time. Ooh! <laughs> Hire a wizard to deal with this mess once and for all. Oh my god. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I don't want the fires to go up. I don't want the fires to go up. You guys can choose the other two. You can do this, queen. You guys choose. Send more troops with me or just get a wizard. <laughs> oh, oh, the wizard's winning. <laughs> Yo, oh, it was a nice number here for a while. It was perfect. 6-9. People do want the wizard. Huh? I think you just want to fuck me by, <laughs> by lowering the faith. <laughs> Send the army. I guess we're sending the wizard, guys. That we should rely upon sorcery and not faith bodes ill for the soul of this kingdom. There will be no kingdom nor a soul to fight for should the sorcerer triumph your grace. I will find you a wizard. Okay, just for one faith. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad to be fair. After several days riding along muddy roads, you have arrived in the march for the Lord's Hunt. What weapon did you bring for the occasion? A crossbow, a spare, a sword! Sword! And what animals did you bring to help you catch your prey? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There is only one right answer here. I am bringing my cat. My cat and my sword. Ah, <laughs> oh, your majesty. Please, you could make it. I see you've brought a, a sword. A brave choice, your majesty. I hope you know how to use it. Of course, I know. And you've brought... Is that a cat? Nymph, God above. What were you hoping to hunt with that thing? Mice? A, 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 A. Don't underestimate.
underestimate the powers of the cat. <laughs> For the rest of the Lord's hunt, you let the barrels take care of the actual hunting. You ride at the rare, drink your wine, and crack jokes that they're all obliged to laugh at. Oh, this seems this seems good. I like that. <laughs> I'm here, I am peaceful, I have my wine. You're all you all need to laugh at everything I say. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> your jokes are so funny, Milky. I know, I know, guys. I'm just a natural. Oh, so... Oh my god, some shit's happening here. <clears throat> Heretical discovery. Your esteemed highness, I bring troubling news. Uh, someone took the ninth naming thing again? Not quite your highness. A group of individuals in the east are meeting in secret to preach heretical teachings and engage in rituals. Those pieces of... Mike, can you guys stay away from cults? Oh, oh, everyone's going for the last one. Repeal the law that prevents the High Inquisitor from investigating at will. <laughs> My god, everyone wants that one. A magical visit. Oh, that's the wizard? <clears throat> the council is in session. The ceiling of the chamber is suddenly covered by a dark, brooding cloud. A fork of lightning strikes the ground and a woman stands there. Ooh, I like her. She's so cool. She's rubbed in white. The edges of her attire sa sage? Sparks run up and down her body and her long hair is a wild cascade bristling with electricity. Is that storm? Kinda. Um, state your business. The Chancellor sent for me, your majesty. I am F. Morel, wizard of the storm, and I have come to rid you of your sorcerer problem. Take my hand and we will go to Atravian. He will submit or he will be destroyed. Ooh, approach the wizard. Sparks fly from her fingertips to yours. Oh, 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 we're, we're, we're touching fingies. We're touching fingies. In the next moment, you are spat out among eastern vineyards. Eh! You and your guards look down the slopes toward a wood swarming with an army of cultists. Worth. Worth. <laughs> Milky having sparks with some mage. F. Morel stands beside you, her living cloud shifting above her. The cloud rises higher and higher, growing to fill the sky for miles around. Trees are tossed into the air like toothpicks. An enormous metallic arm on great spiked wheels emerge from beneath the wood. A Trayvonda opery is astride the monstrosity, his staff held above his head. Mm. <clears throat> uh. Huh. Second and third option, they both make authority and faith go up. Hmm... Oh... Uh, well, I guess your days are at end, Heretic. Oh! We never saw him! This kingdom is nearly mine and I'll be damned if I relent now. So be it, the sorcerer dies. A Travian lets out a great roar and a blast of crimson fire surges from the arm of God's hand towards F. Morel. The wizard sweeps her arms and the fire is dispelled. A thousand forks of lightning rain down from her storm cloud. A Travian and his arm of God are blasted to pieces. <laughs> Get fucked! My work is done. Be at peace, your majesty. Bye-bye. Without their lead, the 8th chapter falls apart. The kingdom has been driven to the brink, but the cult did not triumph. 
Oh, my authority is high now. And faith is all the way up. My god. And <laughs> more of our queen. She's gonna fucking murder everything. You, you. I am not. I, you guys. You guys. You're just simps. You're just simps. Oh, the beast. It's Sachi. Your grace. Terrible news from the east. The beasts have vanished. No. The you hired her to do that. She didn't choose violence. Yeah, because she's under me. But you want her to be queen. You need to be careful if she's the one ruling. Tex! <laughs> you can have all door picnics in peace. <laughs> you were simping for her just a while ago. She could be like my wife, but not the queen. I'm sorry. Um, all the bees, all the bees are gone. All of them, all across the east. We can't rely on the bees for our honey trade. But worse, in the east, bees are bringer of good fortune. We look after them, and they look after us. It's a grim omen indeed if they've deserted us. Our peasants are scared that we've offended the bees. <laughs> Guys, please avoid offending the bees. Please. <laughs> oh, you guys are letting bees do whatever they want. You want that defiance up. I should have vetted that one thinking about it. Well, it's done. You guys hate the bees. Vody has clothes. Bees come and go, let nature take its course. As the eastern beehives languish empty, eastern peasants start sewing bees emblems onto their shirt in a vain effort to bring them back. <laughs> oh, farming down. Oh, trade up, trade up. Still, other nobles profit from the situation. The counts had quite the monopoly on honey, and this has given them the chance to get it on the market. <clears throat> oh, and the fire is up here. Fear grows more and more amongst the counts, who complain that the crown cares nothing for their troubles. It's the other people's fault. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. Of course, of course, mom. You need someone young, whose loyalty is assured, who you can mold into your own image. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh... <clears throat> <laughs> this option here, I'm pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's possible in my case. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Mm. <sighs> well, you do you, Milky. Do you, well, do you, Milky? I don't. No, I don't have any bastards. <laughs> You've been breeding without telling us. No, I would never do that. I am between having a child with my husband or adopting a lowborn child. I don't know how the kingdom would see that though. Guys, I don't know how I'm feeling about this game. I don't want to breed. I feel like my authority could go down if I adopt a child. I think, unfortunately, since I am the queen, I feel like the right thing to do is to unfortunately get pregnant. Unfortunately. No, you're just horny. I am not! My husband and I will have a child together. Ah, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off. <laughs> so you can. Ahem. Get down to business. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Guys, that's not why I was having vacations earlier. Okay? I was... <laughs> <laughs> just to make just to make things clear here. I do not take vacations uh to get a air. <laughs> uh oh we're finally having
me some stuff on the north. A stinging problem? Only a month. A month should do it, right? You sure I am? I am 100% sure. Um, oh, oh, Avi? Thanks to our effort, the spy master is focusing her attention on other regions. And while the cat's away, the mice shall play. <gasps> no! And when the cat returns, it will find the mice have poisoned its kibble. Fucking Avi and Shrub are always here like plotting evil things. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Being chilly in the mansion. <laughs> Ours is too decent though. We don't have a bad stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rats are like fine. Rats are just like fine on everything. The analogy is a little tortured now, but I like the enthusiasm. Our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. <clears throat> Indeed, the honor guard are incorruptible, but the watch are another story. If the queen can't pay them, they will look for money elsewhere. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must lower the treasury to 1500 or less in 3 seasons. MY MONEY! My money! Yo, no! Don't touch my money! My god! Oh, Art? How do you expect me to take this seriously? You crack brain simpleton! Jesus, calm down! <laughs> Bobo? Shut your deft mouth and give me what I am owed, your honorless dog! Jesus, calm down, you two! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, Mr. Pajama wearing basket face slipper wielding Clyde three buckled gather up blade more bleeder and gomeral Jesse off looking stoner near Lucas and milk drinking soy face shell pit moved sniveling worm eyed hood and walk while stooty calibrate tatty <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Just calm the fuck down. <laughs> this pimple-headed liquid expects me to pay him a huge quantity of gold just because his great-great-grandfather beat my great-great-grandfather in a foot race. Yo, in my opinion, this is too far. There's nothing to do with both of you. Adept owned is adept owned, is it not? Your Majesty, I only recently discovered this debt while, com while combing through my ancestor's journal. Honor dictates that Baron Art Universe is liable for his ancestor's debt. That's so far though. That's a long time ago. By the net ninth. This is ludicrous. I demand we put this to a vote. Oh my god. God, order Baron Art to pay his debt. Cancel the debt. It's too old to matter. Order Baron Art to pay his debt. Plus two centuries of what? Two centuries of interest? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm thinking if I should vettle something. Honestly, I think you in my okay, I'm gonna just do the I'm gonna do the iron choice. I think it should be cancelled. But then you guys can decide this. I think it should be cancelled. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. Oh oh either gonna cancel or make art pay with the big interest. Oh god. Uh oh. Art, art. People want to see you getting broke. Oh my god. Oof. 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 Art, art. I feel sorry for you, for your money. Hells, bells, two centuries of interest, but I'll go bankrupt. Your great-great-grandfather should have thought of that before he decided to run so slowly. Tell you what, I'll give you a few weeks to sell off the family silver before I expect full payment. Ooh. 
Rage. Bobo, you little snake. I'll get you back for this. Uh oh. A useful trinket. Oh. Sachi Teclas holds up a sled of wood attached to a length of string. When he swings around his head, it makes a powerful buzzing noise. Look at this! It's a bee charm! We bought it from a wandering druid and it's proving most effective at attracting bees back to the east. We can even control them to an extent. Well, Sachi, I guess you bought something. So your money decreased. But you got more farming, so that's good. It's worth overall. A blanket of eager bees is already covering the windows of the console hall. Oh, I trust the chiefs are happy. Oh, good. It's a miracle. We can go out without being worried about those horrid swarms. Thank the gods. Oh, that's good. The counts are happy. The chiefs are happy. Everyone's happy. We're practically drowning honey and our crops are thriving. However, I petitioned the council for an investment to help, to help us keep using the charm. It requires constant use and my arm is starting too hard. <laughs> Besides, it would be a shame if the unfortunate swarm situation happened again. The nobles exchange nervous, nervous glances. No one wants a plague of bees descending on their household. Uh, oh my god. Should the counts be paid to use the bee charm kindly and wisely? Uh, the treasury will pay off the, the counts. Ooh, 5,000! The other noble should pay off the counts. Or forbid the counts from using the bee charm aggressively. The treasury will not pay for this. So that's up to you guys. You want everyone to pay for the counts? Or do you just want to forbid the counts to using it in a dumb way? Why is people that are not counts voting? You guys just want to use your money to pay them? <laughs> Why do you want that? Why do you want that? Are you guys? Dumb? Well, fair, I guess. <laughs> nice guys makes us rich. Like, are you serious? You want to use your own money to pay them? Uh, fine, I guess. <laughs> They don't want to get owned by bees. But you, we can just forbid them to use it aggressively. That would just make the bees not angry. I... Fine, I guess. If you guys want to pay for it. Your choice. <laughs> Voting has closed. Maybe the aggressiveness is why it works. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's too aggressive, then you're gonna bring more bees, right? And no one wants that. The other noble should pay off the counts. <laughs> uh, the nobles aren't pleased about the situation, but they're too afraid of swarms to refuse. Sachi Teclas receives their payments with an oily smile. Oh god, oh look at you, what you guys done with the east farming, Jesus. And well, the east is rich now, and everyone else is poor. I am still trying to understand this, but that's fine. <laughs> it, wait, why some count's wealth has decreased? Inclu wait, everyone's paying for it, including the counts, okay. Only Sachi, only Sachi is getting richer. True to their word, the counts do not use the charm against anyone. Yet. <laughs> Instead, they focus on their own lands, building up even more honey stores and helping their fields flourish. It's 
it's just not fair, your majesty. This P-Charm has given Count Sachitek less a monopoly on honey. Uh, oh my god, a, a, a honeyopoly? <laughs> <laughs> the chiefs are just jealous that we made good use of a bad situation. Everything I'm doing is perfectly legal. I was the one who sought out the charm in the first place. To help you not get stung. But ever since you got hold of that charm, your bees have been making unnatural quantities of honey. It's not fair on honest business owners. We can't compete. Uh, how should the council handle the count's bur burgeoning honey empire? Impose high tariffs on eastern honey? Let the count's bee empire fly? Or pay for prestigious royal honey for the palace. What? No. No, you're not doing the last one. You are not doing the last one. <laughs> you are not making me go, bro. You can choose if we impose high tariffs on, the, on their honey. Or if we just let them do whatever they want with that. Well, yeah, seems like we're not letting the counts do whatever you want with the honey. You can't rebel if you don't increase your defiance, guys. That is true. That is true. The chiefs clap and cheer as the counts look mutinous, but they grudgingly agree to pay the extra fees. So the east is Angie, farming went down, and trading went up. Someone needed trade, right? <clears throat> It puts a dent in the eastern honey industry, but the rest of the nobles are pleased. The beekeepers in the north no worry long worry of no longer worry about going out of business. Uh so we got some money for the treasury and the counts are less wealthy. A city in flames. Oh my god! My liege, there, there's been a terrible fire in the city of Eggerstrad. Where once there were buildings, there is now a field of smoldering ash. Dozens of commoners have died. Filled with religious conviction, the townsfolk sees a traveling wizard and attempted to burn him at the stake for practicing dark magic. My bad! I was cooking something. It happens, sorry, it happens. He walked out of the city unharmed. The same cannot be said for those who try to burn him. Eh. Well, yeah, this is why you never tangle with wizards. I was hoping the council might unlock some funds from the treasury so we could rebuild. Oh my- Can you guys stop fucking up your own stuff? No. No, I don't think I will. Uh, oh, we cannot do something. Uh, rebuild the city exactly as it was? Offer no help? Or find and punish the wizard responsible? Oh, this is very tied. Oh, offer no help. <laughs> red, red. Is, yeah. Oh, look at this. Everyone who wants to rebuild the city is the count, guys. <laughs> red is just like no. Let it burn. Let it burn. <laughs> Whatever. Well. Fine then. Bloody hell! What is the point of having a queen in the first place? You look, look, the reds voted for this. You cannot complain, Zuri. You cannot complain. You voted for this. Oh, oh! The air! The air! Do I have a baby? Your question for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council, holding a small child in your arms. Should I die? I ask that my crown will be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. <laughs> Milky officially breedable! Shut up! Shut up! No, no mom! No, no, no mommy! No mommy! <laughs> uh, oh! What is well? I want... Let me see. I want a daughter. My daughter. The, the milky, the little milky, 
This is gonna be the next queen, Lil Milky. The assembled nobles break out into polite applauses. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Oh, we can't, we can't, it's just Milky Second. <laughs> nice, Milky Second. The gods are good, your highness. I'm sure little Milky Second will grow up to be a chip of the old block. <laughs> uh, itching for a fight. Uh oh. These guys are. Oh, it's Maxwell! Your Majesty, we in the March have finally have finished a complete reorganization of our military. It truly is a powerful beast now. Uh, yes, very, very lovely. Very lovely. Moreover, I was hoping the crown might give them some exercises. The soldiers are restless. Uh, can you define exercises? We just need a suitable campaign to wait. To wait, wait, wait? Our swords and spears. An unbloodied army isn't worth its salt, I say. Mm, well, let's see what the council thinks. Instead of a costly war, your highness, we could establish mercenary companies that fight abroad and take a healthy cut of the profit. Or, if your majesty wishes to gain something more than gold, we should use our might as intended and make inroads into Tavalin, whose meager army will surely be no match. They want war, then let them have poor work environment! <laughs> Wait, why do why why do the barrels want us? Wait, why do the barrels want us? <laughs> why do you guys want us? Well, okay. We just wanted money. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Husa, let's teach the Ashmedin dogs a lesson for existing without our permission. How dare you exist without permission? Willfully misinter mis misinterpret my misinterpreting a standard diplomatic message as a grave insult. You send a declaration of war to the Ashmedin Empire. You've never seen the Baron so excited. Mew, can I exist? I think you can. I think you can. The barrels don't agree with that, though, Zuri. It's nine. Ha! You should have seen the look of on the Ashmedean diplomat's face when I told him we were declaring a war on his pathetic empire. I kicked him in the rump as he left for good measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh well, let's open a bottle of wine. Mm, it's too soon to celebrate, Your Majesty. We've got a war to win. But the wine! The Ashmandi Empire's golden age is long behind it. They're still bigger than us. With more soldiers and a long history of conquest. But they lack discipline and are plagued by infighting. The kingdom's armies are in decent shape, but this will be difficult. News of the war inspires a wave of patriotic fer fervor across the kingdom. Old knights come out of retirement, and naive youth stampede to join the army. Hopefully, it will prove enough. Rest assured, my liege, you'll have our full support in this war. What's our opening gambit? Oh, military! Military high everywhere! Oh, oh, we're gonna get a small expeditionary force. That is fair, that is fair. Gamble on military. We met first resistance at the border. Baroness Nai got a spare through her wind windpipe. We wait, what? Nai? We retreated, retreated in disarray. Nai! 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 F. F. I. I th guys, I think Nai fucking died. <laughs> it feels like Marshall is shit at her job. Two military campaigns lost. True. And their military was so high. That's so unlucky. I guess. Can we negotiate a truce? After suffering our first loss, the Ashmedians won't take us for everything we've got. No, we need to at least put up a fight. But yeah, guys, I, I think you're all gonna die. I you guys okay you guys you guys wanna invade? I was gonna wait how Ashmead responds. Do the barrels want to invade? 
Fuck him up? The barons are ready, your highness? Well, seems like the barons want to invade. I'll grant your wish then. I hope you know what you're doing, your majesty. Just... Okay, I am gonna say this. I was going for the other option. To try and spare your guy's life. If you all end up dying... Not my fault. Not my fault. I am granting your wish. Your majesty, our troops are messing at the Ashmedin border. Soon we'll cross over and the war will begin in earnest. What are my instructions? Um... Fight with honor and respect civilian lives. She shouldn't be afraid to get her hands dirty. No mercy, no quarter. Guys, please, let's be... Let's have honor. You will get money if you're honorable. That is my choice. <laughs> no mercy, look at this fucking barrels! Absurd, absurd. You think I need look at it, the chiefs? The chiefs just want money. Can money? Money? You shouldn't have encouraged your choice, Milky. Those are fucking horrible. These are just horrible people. I am giving you money to just be respectable. I am gonna you're not gonna be part of my kingdom anymore. Absurd. Look at this! Secret. You guys are all horrible people. I didn't even... I could have put something for my gain there. You guys, I've offered you money. It seems like I can't do that. It seems like I can't do that. My god. Will you be coming with me to the front lines, your majesty? It could be dicey. Oh, no, fuck you. No, I'll stay in the palace. Fuck you. That's your fucking issue. <laughs> Await news of the invasion success. And you failed. That's your... That's on you guys. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> I didn't want to go to war. You guys want it. I did... I wanted to like have mercy on the people. You guys wanted to go ham. I guess that's what you deserve. <laughs> When the queen's rule is holy, the ninth god rewards. Everyone agrees the signs are here. Uh... <laughs> A sign of my power. I can feel it. And the ninth god's might, your majesty. Don't forget that. I will make preparations for the ceremony at St. Bertrand's Cathedral. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. The evening. Oh, my husband! I forgot I had a husband. Hello, my, my dear. That evening, your husband comes to see you. This will be a groundbreaking event, Milky. The church and the nobles in the palm of your hand. I wonder, will you crush them? Crush! We gather before the power of the knife god to witness the holy influence of Queen Milky. There follows a very long sermon. Um, st Stand and smile respectfully. Yes. Oh, 10 is the maximum. My god, everything is on 10. Bless, bless. It goes on and on. <clears throat> but eventually, it's time for your blessing. This is... This is Milky the second. This is how Milky the second looks. This is... This is Milky? This is Milky the second. <laughs> Small, tiny queen. Very small queen. Thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for reminding me. But eventually, it's time for a blessing. A blanket of silence falls over the cathedral. You step forward and the archbishop sprinkles holy water upon your brow. Perhaps you feel something. Ouch! A warm glow as if the ninth god is watching. The power of the ninth god bathes you in holy light. The nobles can never stand against you now. Rise once more, queen of the kingdom and Saint Melky. Let's go! See? You guys didn't believe me. I am, I am a saint now. Saint Melky. Uh, may the ninth god bless this day. Bless. He will, your majesty. He will. 
Applause rises in the cathedral, echoing in the huge rafters. Surrounded by her red-robed devotees, the High Inquisitor is watching closely. After a moment, she applauds with the rest. At the next council session, the nobles arrive to find a cluster of inquisitors who have joined your honor guard. What are they doing here? Since when does the inquisition have a place in the council? Always had resident, always. <laughs> but my honor, hush! Do you want to be tried for heresy? By my honor. Um... I kind of want to do this one. <laughs> but no, no, Sagehood hasn't changed me. I am, you can, I am still your queen. Chief Resident Lazy still looks nervous. But none of the nobles, including them, speak up again. You better. Over the course of the day, even the boldest nobles quick to vote with the crowd. It's so easy. Relaxing. Efficient! You finish early for the first time in months! With the church at your back, you have license to do what you please, as long as you keep on the ninth god's good size side, of course. A long, glorious, and venerated reign awaits for Saint Milky. The Count's attempt to warm, to warm their way into the palace was uncovered and a number of arrests were made. Count Avi ended his life chained upside down to a dungeon wall! <laughs> oh my god! This is early access. Oh hi Georgie, I got, yes, I got exclusive access to the game. The game will be releasing next year. Uh, it's not available right now. But it is super good. You should definitely wishlist it. It's very good. What the fuck happened to A.V.? Well, seems like A.V. didn't really like being in jail. <laughs> Ice giants fell apart and the giants end up attacking the north instead. The subsequent war kept the chiefs too busy to worry about matters of the throne. Well, F for the chiefs. The counts were arrested. The chiefs fucking died because of giants. The Baron's revolutionary plans for the new model army were quietly shelved, but not forgotten. Those blueprints will surely come in useful some days. I believe, guys. If you think about this, the Baron's had the best outcome here. At least, you know, it just one day this is gonna happen. They didn't get arrested, they're not fighting giants. I guess the Baron's had the best ending out of the- <laughs> out of all the regions. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be, under Saint Milky's reign, the church was all powerful. The only thing warmer than the hearts of believers were the heretics being burned alive. <laughs> My god! The queen died peacefully after another 15 years of devout rule. Legend says that an angel appeared at her bedside to bear her to the thereafter. Bless. Bless. <laughs> 